What is up guys, Johnny here, back with a brand new Call of Duty Mobile video. Today I want to share with you guys three loadouts that you must try this week in COD Mobile. I did play some ranked multiplayer today, I played some Battle Royale, I've been trying a bunch of new loadouts and some things have been working for me and I want you guys to try it and let me know if it's working for you. So let's go with loadout number one. Before we start, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel for daily COD Mobile videos. Now let's go with loadout number one, which actually is not loadout number one, it's loadout number two. It is a domination loadout, guys. I've been using shield, the transform shield in domination for previous seasons, and I'm still using in this season also. Transform shield is awesome for domination, but also for hard point, for capturing objectives, also for defending objectives. It's really good uh, just using it in front of someone to blind them, but also just to take cover, so when you don't have cover available. Now, don't mind the FHG on all my loadouts right now, guys, because I'm still farming the gold camo. Usually, I would go with uh, SMRS on my loadouts, but right now, I'm just using FHG on all my loadouts, just in case, because I'm still missing the VTOL kills. And you never know, if you see a VTOL, you don't want to have to die and swap loadouts, so I just don't want to take a chance. I'm four short. But anyways, this loadout here is a LK24 loadout. I'm going to show you the gunsmith. The perks, I, I really like lightweight in objective game modes because you have to go from one point to another. It's always good to get there faster. Now for perk number two, I'm going with Cold-Blooded. This season, I like it. I like Ghost also. I like Toughness. But Cold-Blooded is doing good for me, so I'm going to keep going. And of course, Dead Silence for perk three. I don't know if you guys use Dead Silence or not. Uh, you can go hardline or whatever you like, but I love Dead Silence. Uh, I'm a frag grenade user, and smoke is always good also in objective game modes. Now here's the gunsmith for my LK24, and you see the increased stats, accuracy, range, and controls. It's the stats I'm looking for when I farm headshots for going gold camos, but also in ranked multiplayer in objective game modes. I love ARs, I use ARs often, and I feel it's the way to go, at least for my playstyle. You like your bullets to hit, uh, great accuracy at long range, great damage. So I love this loadout, RTC light muzzle, uh, OWC marksman, the optic you don't need to but I was still farming uh, one of the reticles I was missing, I needed to get kills with red dot sight too, but I love the red dot anyway, so I use red dots when I use optics. Now I like not using optics on my weapons if I can, some weapons have great, uh, great iron sights because you can get a perk instead or an extra attachment. So of course, if you like the iron sight on your weapon, don't use optics, but I love red dots. Now, under barrel, tactical for grip A, you have many options here, and definitely the rare grip maybe. Now here, I wanted the extra ADS speed, but you're losing a lot of stats, all right? So you could go for better stats, but slower ADS, and you will see here, more control, more accuracy, but slower ADS, 54 from 59 now here 55 from 59 but you lose a little less stats so it's really personal here you can pretty much use whatever you like you can even skip the grip if you want but ads time is always good guys my next loadout is very similar same perks it's an icr1 loadout with the annihilator instead of the shield so for uh hard point you can use that and also team that match i love it annihilator guys is still a really good operator this season now i don't know if you guys saw a lot of changes in the meta this season with the balance changes to the operator skills but i feel annihilator is still on top it's a really good one one shot one kill of course you're gonna miss more shots than two seasons ago but hey uh it was just too op back then in my opinion now still fhg i would go smrs but i'm farming uh, the veto kills and ICR1 I think is underrated I don't hear that much about it I had a crazy good game in TDM today and here's my gunsmith again it doesn't look good the uh, 40 round fast reload mag it's super long super weird but it's doing the job I love uh, fast reload and I love the uh, increased mag because you can keep shooting and when you have multiple targets, you don't have to reload in the middle of a fight. On small maps, it's awesome. Under Barrel, the Ranger foregrip is probably maybe the best foregrip in the whole game, right? Uh, sometimes I use Tactical foregrip for other guns, but Ranger foregrip uh, usually on most of my guns. Once again, I'm using a red dot here. On ICR1, it's personal preference. You don't really have to. Now, OWC Ranger Barrel, RTC Light Muzzle Break. 
Uh, it's uh, one of the attachments I use pretty often. And you see the stats again, extra accuracy, extra range, extra controls. So this gun is a laser. It can shoot at long range. It's pretty decent at medium short range. Maybe it's not the fastest killing gun in the game, but it's very consistent and very accurate. And I love the ICR one guys. Uh, and again, I had some crazy good games today with it. And I cannot wait to try it in Battle Royale. Now talking about Battle Royale, my next loadout is a Battle Royale customized airdrop weapon and it's a KN44. So what I've been doing lately is I'm using my guns that are already gold, but not max level yet. I try to use them in Battle Royale as much as I can to level them up. And when they're max level, I just switch my number one loadout. Now today, I've been trying the KN44 because it's not maxed yet. And surprisingly, I had some really good games. I was never a huge fan of the KN44 previously, but still, I thought it was pretty consistent today in BR. And with this gunsmith, very accurate for the playstyle and for the battle royale long range battles. Again, RTC light muzzle break. Now this will help you control your recoil, vertical and lateral recoil. Uh, you're gonna lose a little bit of accuracy, but yeah, like in battle royale you have long range fights. And uh, if you don't wanna just burst one by one the bullets when you fight long range, uh, this is a great attachment. Uh, OWC Marksman. Red dot sight once again, like I said, I love red dots. I use pretty much on anything. And I know the KN44 is great. I don't use red dot on my KN44 most of the time uh, in multiplayer. But in Battle Royale, I felt uh, it just it's just personal. Like I said, you don't have to. I love it. Uh, Ranger for grip, once again, I use very often on many weapons. And rare grip is this triple grip take. Now, once again, you can choose other grips if you want. It's gonna lose a little bit of ADS speed for better control, better accuracy. Uh, that one would be a good option also for BR. Like I said, in BR, uh, not like multiplayer. You don't really have to ADS super fast because you usually you can pick up your fights. So uh, that would be a very good option for BR and that would be a better option for multiplayer. So today I was using that one for some reason and I will definitely try that one uh, probably later, maybe tomorrow. Anyways. That's a great loadout for KN44. I love it in Battle Royale. It was a lot of fun to use. This gun's a good fire rate, good accuracy. I love the sound also. And it looks awesome. It's a great weapon. So anyways, that was three loadouts, three different ARs that I've been using today. And I had great results in both multiplayer and Battle Royale. So I suggest you guys try these gunsmith attachments and let me know how it works for you. Now, make sure you smash that like if you enjoyed these videos. And don't forget to subscribe for daily Cosmo Bowl videos. I will see you guys in the next one. Take care.